Doc. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now, I need your help to get back to the year 1985. This is Back to the Futures, week seven on the Hammer Dot Bet. Smash the like, sub to the channel, sub to the podcast. I am Pat Mayo. I am with Jeff Feinberg and Tim Andergast, who are going head to head in a season long duel of who can make the most money. ROI style in terms of betting futures week after week. I don't remember who went first a week ago. Tim, Jeff I think, did. Jeff, so it's you. You're batting leadoff here? I am. Uh, that's a lie. Jeff went for. I went first last time. All right, and so Jeff G- took me. Now you go first again. Okay. Making the Seattle Seahawks to make the playoffs. They're plus 800. I recommended this division. to you. I recommended this to you two weeks ago on the show at, 16, at plus 1600. Okay, but you know what? I'm going to get on it now before it gets even shorter. Uh, plus 800. So it's at 3-3 three and three in a division where the Rams look like a corpse, where the San Francisco 49ers are incredibly injured, and where the Cardinals, you know, the Cardinals have their issues. Um, the Seahawks are in a decent spot here to rack up wins. And an NFC that's soft. I mean, between all these overachieving teams in the NFC, one or two are going to fall back. And the Seahawks are just in a spot to win like nine games and make the playoffs. So, like, they're four, I think they're 14 to 1 to win the division. If you like that better, go ahead and put that in. I don't think that's a terrible bet, but they've already lost at least one game in division. So it's like, eh, I don't know if I really want to go there. Um, I think 800, plus 800 is a nice value bet on the Seattle Seahawks to make the playoffs. Uh, So that is where I'm recommending this week. Okay, so plus 800, taking the swing here, Jeff. Are you going back to there? Are you trying to hit a bomb here, or are you trying to get a sacrifice bond? I am trying to... Come up with a future. No, I guess in the purposes of this, my only question, Pat, is help me talk, talk me through this one. Would I be better off to say pick atlanta to win the division or the bucks to miss the playoffs what what are the odds on each of those well the bucks to miss the playoffs is six to one okay. and atlanta to win the division is uh but, but, but let me get it back here it's plus 650 or 700 i'm seeing so i get seven to one on to win the division now why would i take them to win the division at seven to one if i think that Shouldn't I just take some Arthur Smith coach of the year at like 30 to one? Uh, maybe that that is most definitely on the table. Although you have mitigating factors here. If the Giants, I mean, everyone's talking about Philly undefeated and all this stuff. Like the Giants can still theoretically win the division. If that happens, Brian Dable's the coach of the year. Mm-hmm. Robert, yeah, he's four to one. And if the, if the Jets make the, the playoffs, Sal, Salah could end up winning coach of the year. I agree with you that Arthur Smith's going to have a great year. Seven to one. Is there a way that you can parlay those together? Will they allow you to do that? I don't believe it um, because I mean, we're th- the Atlanta's three and three right now. If the Bucks miss the playoffs, yeah, they would have the best chance to win the division. doesn't mean the saints won't win the division either though. Like that could be like a nine and eight or something. I am going to take the Bucks to miss the playoffs okay. six to one. I was looking at it, thinking about it at the beginning of the season. It was like plus five twenty five. And I, I, tomorrow, I could see one 30-second Brady clip and hate this bet in three hours. I mean that because I'm so flippy-floppy with Brady at this moment. But as we discussed on the show earlier or on, on the Point Spread show over at Mail Media Network, we're watching a man go through a midlife crisis. And his race car bet is probably the best in the world. But there's a lot of weird shit going there. And he's not all in because he's going to parties on Friday night. Just trying to see it right now. As it stands in the NFC playoff picture, Eagles, Vikings, Bucks, 49ers, one, two, three, four. Then you have the Giants, Cowboys, and Rams are the next three seeds. But the Rams are three and three. They're the best and have all the tiebreakers of the three and three teams. Then you have Atlanta, Seattle, 
and the Packers right behind them, also at three and three. Then you have the Saints and the Commanders and the Cardinals and the Bears at two and four. I would say out of those teams, the best ones who have a chance to rally are probably the Saints and Cardinals, just based on the divisions that, that they're in right now. If you do expect the Bucks to end up dropping out, but the the issue is. Is Atlanta good enough to actually win these games? Like, what what's best case scenario? Like, I'm holding a over four and a half season win total ticket on the Falcons. Like, I'm hoping that they, I mean they should get it with three wins already. But if they ended up hell five and twelve or something, I wouldn't be super stunned. So I, I like your bet to miss the playoffs. I just, they could. The, I do think that there's a chance that the Bucks could go like eight and eight and nine and win that division. Like if worse came to worse. That is all very possible. The thing that is so hesitating is, you know, seeing, is there anyone in the division to actually take advantage of a slumping Buccaneer team? I don't know. To me, like if it goes off the rails, it's going to go off the rails so bad in Tampa and they might fix it all. And it's probably a silly bet. Cause they're going to beat Carolina by 30 this week. And next week I could have gotten, to get a better number theoretically for this. Um, but I don't know. I didn't want to pick Geno Smith comeback player of the year. I didn't want to hedge my Saquon pick in our <laughs> little contest. All right. So I'm going with the anti bucks fade here. Anti bucks fade. Okay. 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 All right. That will do it. I'm back to the futures for week seven. We have the Seahawks to make the playoffs from Tim and We have the Bucks to miss the playoffs from Jeff Feinberg as they add to their portfolio of futures. But hey, we got another 11 weeks of adding to the futures portfolio and we'll see who ends up ahead at the end of the year for Jeff, for Tim. Watch the hammer dot bet and go to the website for all your football betting needs. I'm Pat Mayo. We'll see you next week.